Hello, welcome back to my channel. This is Lindsay, and I have a bunch of marketplace journals to share with you, but a couple other things just from my shop quickly. These might look familiar, but I'm just uh, showing you that this Ugly Duckling journal is still available in my shop. There was a mix up when my video showing it came out. I said it was available in the shop, but I actually hadn't listed it yet. I had forgot to publish it. And so a lot of you probably thought it was sold, but it is still available in my shop as of when I'm filming this. So you might still be able to grab the Ugly Duckling journal. And then um, I sold a set of coffee dyed vintage bird pages. They're from 1961. I sold a set of 20 pages and here's another set of 15. They're just from an old book um, and they're just all coffee dyed and ready to put into your uh, crafts. So that is in my shop now. And then a new supply are these, you know, I do my little notions in shaker pockets. I just think it's fun to, to snip a corner or snip a part, you know, shake it out or send it as happy mail. So these are scroll work heart charms. I only have 10 packs available right now, but I wanted to get these out um, in time for Valentine's Day. But look at how pretty those are with the little sequins. The color of the thread and the sequins vary, but look at that pretty scroll work and that silver color. I thought those would be beautiful on journals, so those are also available in my shop. All right, enough about me. Um, let's get these marketplace journals shown off. So um, I have four new ones from Rayneen. I was saying Rayanne before, but I'm pretty sure it's Rayneen. Um, and I'm sorry if I got that wrong again, my friend, but she sent four more and I'm so excited to share them with you. Hers sold really fast. They're beautiful. Uh, can't wait to share them. I do want to make a comment for those of you. I keep getting uh, like messages and things like, oh, did my journal sell and I don't see it in the marketplace and I didn't receive payment. Um, I send you payment as soon as I ship the journal out to its new owner. So if I have not shipped, it might sell, but I don't necessarily ship it in the next five minutes. It might even be a few days or the next week, depending upon when I can get to it. A lot of things sell um, and I get as many out as I can. So, you know, if you've sent me, say here, four journals and three of them sold and you only get PayPal the money for one, that's because that one person... I've shipped that journal to that one person. So um, that if I have to keep it that way, that way I don't miss anybody. Everything gets, you know, as soon as the, as soon as I ship it, I PayPal. That way I just say, yeah. Anyway, I think I've explained that enough. Okay, so this one is called My Lady Fairy. And first you just have to look at this fabric because that is incredible. I love roses. They're my favorite flower. But with this light green, oh, so pretty. So it's a six by nine with 36 pages. And she used Miss Lady Fay, a journal kit from Ephemera's Vintage Garden. And so, whoops. Okay, uh, you guys, I feel so sorry for you because all of you can tie these beautiful bows and then I take them apart and I can never tie them back the same way. So it never looks quite as pretty the second time after I get my hands on them. So look at this gorgeousness, beautiful kit. Um, beautiful pieces. She's put her little business card, which is adorable, by the way. She sent me one, and um, I put it into my personal junk journal because it's such an adorable kit. So it is simple, but it is wonderful for writing. It has, oh, look at that crumpled, how pretty that is. I need to do that in my journals. Um, yeah, so it's pretty much a writing journal. There's a really pretty tuck spot, but it is gorgeous. And then here's a few little bits and bobs that you can decorate the journal with. I am starting to get into the kind of whole glue book collage thing. Uh, not as crazy as it can get, but just glue all the things down. So when you see little bits and pieces, you know, it's like, where can you glue them? You know, you can glue them all over the place and add layers and add textures and all of that so really pretty ephemera in here super adorable some more little little bits and pieces and you can just add them different places to make the journal your own 
And when I first started out, I was like, oh, I have to keep everything just as it is in the junk journal. If I bought it from somebody else and, oh, and I was all like, oh, concerned about it. And now I'm just like, ah, whatever. I was even watching a journal flip through or not journal flip through, a journal with me by My Life Mitts. Um, I've heard of her before. However, I have never watched her stuff till today. I've never subscribed to her. And she was uh, doing personal junk journal. Oh, and this is fabric lined as well. She was doing personal junk journal work in a journal she had purchased from someone else. And one of the pages she loved so much and didn't want to use as a background page and cover it up that she took the page right out of the journal to use in another project. So... Yeah, that just helps me realize I do not need to hoard and hold on to things, or not hoard, but hold on to things exactly the way they are. So this one is beautiful and ready to be sold. Whoop, falling over here, people. Okay, so here is the next one. I have to stand on a little stool so that I can see above my camera to make sure I'm in frame. So if I fall off the stool, that's why. So look at this pretty, pretty ribbon. Okay, it's very simple. This looks like maybe a vintage, it's using, uh, it's called Advice, Advice from a Flower, using the Flower Show Kit from Screech Owl Studio. There's 50 pages. Uh, just She says floral fabric cover. I'm thinking this is like a vintage fabric, just from the look and feel. I could be wrong, but it is beautiful. It says Advice from a Flower, always be bright and cheerful. And then there's a little bit of washi on the uh, side here, super pretty. So, oh, I love the contrast between the dark blue fabric here and then the light blue on the front. I think that's really, really pretty. Now, she did use this. I sold one of her journals using this kit before. Um, so, super, super pretty. But this one is completely different, and that definitely shows how you can make um, the same use the same kit and make different types of journals. So I'm really loving these uh, creases in her papers. I think that is so pretty. Look at that beautiful mason jar. I would just definitely want to use that somewhere. Whoops. This is going to be a long video, just so you know, because I have oh, like over 15 journals. And some, I tried to go super fast before and uh, you guys were commenting and saying, we can't see the journal slow down. So I think that you would prefer me to go slightly slower, watch a longer video than, um, oh, and then there's like a little booklet here in the middle. That is really cute. This would be definitely fun to just totally make over into a little cute um, Habitat for Humanity list pad. So you reuse everything. That's why they're called junk journals. Um, yeah, to just totally remake into your own journal. It gives you a starting point. It gives you some ephemera. It gives you, I think this is a belly band. Yep. It gives you places to tuck things, color schemes. But um, you have so much room to make it your own. And the price point on these is much lower because um, they're not totally fully dressed or decked out. So you get your own junk journal made by a wonderful artist, but then you still have room to make it your own and it doesn't break the bank. So we've got that one. And then let's see what's next. Ooh, so pretty. I love that color, that turquoise teal that fabric is beautiful really cute little girl on the front and then that label you could write your name you could write the date so much you could do this is called daisy fairy very pretty lots of fun daisies and florals inside oh yeah very pretty vintage seed catalog pages oh and this is stitched i love that idea Stitching around parts of the page so you have that texture. You guys give me so many ideas um, for my journals. Oh, and this is my Ledger Bouquet paper. I recognize that. And she printed that on cream paper. I love how that looks. I don't think I've tried that yet. That's available in my shop digitally and printed. I think it's like six pages and then a background page. 
Here's like a little envelope with some more ephemera. So pretty. Like that green. Really pretty glassine bag. And there's some tags in the bag. And there is that one. And I, like I said, this one's called Daisy Fairy. I love the fabric on this one. And um, there's quite a lot of room, I just want to mention, a lot of room to bulk up in these. There's only, she says 18 pages. I don't know how she's counting. Because one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So not 18, it's four times nine because you have um to each page there are four sides so there's 36 pages there's a lot of room to bulk up so you can add in pages and things like that as well to totally make it your own it is a great starter journal so she sent one more or two more can't see in my pile there oh one more this one right here, it's called Be Yourself. Oh, wow, that is pretty. Now, this is not a fabric cover. It is a cardstock cover. Gray ribbon. I love. I think this is my favorite one, um, at least for the cover. I haven't seen inside yet. My favorite one that she sent this time. So little bits and pieces. Oh, that's pretty. A little ripped paper tip-in. There's a little pocket. So you can take your ephemera and tuck in the ones that you want. There's a little pocket page with some ephemera. More there. Really, really lovely little bits and pieces that you can use. Some tickets. I'm thinking this might be an Artie Mays kit. Yeah, pretty sure. Make sure that um, you guys, if you use a main kit, for a journal that you write down what it is. I mean, you don't have to write down every bit and piece, but if you've used someone's kit, that, that is written down so that um, we can give a shout out to them. Really pretty colors on this one. Pretty cutouts. See, she's just clipped on like some ribbon. You can use that wherever you want. Little bits and pieces. That's pretty. And then in the back. So this one is called Be Yourself. And that's all from Raineen. And I have one from Joy. I know that you guys have been loving her work. So whenever we get one, it's a treasure. And believe me, this one is. It is a patchwork one and I fell off my stool. I've already untied it to look inside and I could not retie it how beautiful she had it. But this is a quilting slash sewing journal. Look at this beautiful closure. Now I talked to her about this cover and it is from like an old um, quilt magazine. It's the actual cover that she has like finished or decoupaged on here. I just thought that was so neat. So it's a, it's a cover to a quilt book. And then there's little bits and pieces clipped on here with a button and a little quilt charm. That is so cute. And there's a little eyelet. So quilt journal, 40 pages, cover made with a nine by 12 manila envelope. Quilt designs everywhere. So there's lots of sewing. There's pocket pages. Look at this. Oh, that is really pretty. And then this is really neat. This is a pocket patterns, quilting patterns, and then a little template. So how adorable is that? And she made a belly band to stick it in there. There's pages from um, quilting magazines, tags made from pages. This looks, this feels like a textured card, like a greeting card. There's fabric on some of the ends. Here's a glassine bag. Wow, so pretty with a tag, look at all that. The detail is incredible. Okay, 
that's an envelope glued on there and then in here is a little booklet so pretty oh my goodness it's the details you guys like the details so pretty there's a little playing card but there's a pocket there's a tuck spot oh and some a big journal card the color scheme on this too is just so pretty I know that you guys will love this one and she told me that she is working on a Valentine's one that she wants to send me to sell too so be on the lookout for that Beautiful. And this just feels so good. The texture, the weight. Yep, here's one of those cards, but she made it into a little booklet, which is a wonderful idea to do with little greeting cards. Extra room for journaling. This she turned into a paper clip. It's another big tag, and you can journal on the back. There's a tuck spot. Okay, here's just a really pretty template, vintage like template sheet. Here's, okay, let's see, this flips out. Up here's some charms and buttons. Another pocket page, another pretty card with a quilt square on it. And then this opens in the back and you have a little um, yeah, vintage book page, magazine page. How beautiful is that? Oh my word. Love it so much. So there's that one. Okay, so now I have a box of journals, if you can still hear me. These are from Darlene. Okay, 12 journals. I have only peeked at this top one. I have not looked at them all, so you're going to be as surprised as I am. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. It's an old, like, advertisement. It's decoupaged on here. Look at that. It's from a Sears Roebuck catalog, and I am pretty darn sure that this is an actual page from the catalog that is finished on here. Just look at that. It's what not I... Okay. Beautiful Maria of My Soul. So it's a repurposed book. Oh my word. This is just beautiful. <laughs> wow. I have not seen any of her work yet. It's a nine and a half by six hardcover journal. Three signatures. 77 pages. Hidden spine. She made it with pages from a vintage Sears catalog. It is made to use horizontal but you can use it vertical okay so she actually made the journal to be used this way you could flip it the other way if you wanted to but since she made it to be used this way let's look at it this way I think that's just so cool that is a really neat idea just absolutely incredible real vintage okay guys this is priceless because it is a vintage catalog that you can no longer, you know, they no longer make them. They're not just prints from online. They are actual um, pages. This is a total bit of history. Look at that. Total bit of history, but yet you can add your own history, your own stories. I think that this would be an absolutely incredible journal to add um, your bits and pieces of ephemera things that you know you want to save that that you don't want to misplace that you don't want to lose that you've gotten in happy mail it would be wonderful to just glue them in this book and it would be a worthy home so I am I am blown away by this book I have never seen anything quite like this and I love how she has reinforced all of, okay, that flips up. She has reinforced, I'm distracted because this book is going the, <laughs> this direction instead and I can't 
think and flip at the same time. She's she has like reinforced all these delicate pages so that they're they're not falling apart on you because look at how fragile. And that's a wonderful way to preserve those old um, book pages and things like that. Reinforce them and find a good home for them. Very, very cute. There are a lot of pages in here. I believe there's three signatures. So you definitely have a ton of space and room. I think that's actual real vintage ledger that she's backed I want to, or that might be printed I am not sure oh look at that oh my gosh a little teeny paper doll well you guys are in for a treat that's what I love about this marketplace these journals like you would never have the opportunity to purchase these things but yet they're so incredible so thank you for Oh, look at those handsome gentlemen in their coats. Very, very nice. All right, we are almost to the end. Now I'm going to flip it here and see, like, you can definitely use it this way. Either way, you can use it. And there's a, another, I think that's another little paper doll that she put on this tag. So beautiful, beautiful, Darlene. I mean, I am just blown away by this journal. Not, I have never seen anything like this. So I am so happy that you shared it with us. And I can't get the, oh, that's because I'm trying to wrap it around when it is a tie. So there is that lovely, lovely one. Let's see if I can make room for it and grab the next one. We're going to be here video is probably going to be close to an hour long but that's okay all right so next we have this one and it's like Christmas morning opening these things I have no idea what's in here so oh and we have a beautiful Christmas journal it is never never too early to buy your December daily or your Christmas journal or to buy Christmas gifts also the prices on them are going to be better this time of year because if it's right before Christmas everybody's grabbing for them the price hike goes up because we're out of season I keep these at a lower price whenever I get the Christmas ones in so it is definitely a great time to get it so we have a little vintage Santa there really pretty it's fabric covered let's see what she has to say about this incredible journal oh my word I love it Seven and three quarters, five and a half fabric covered hardcover. She used Nectar's Creations Christmas Eve kit. 72 pages. Very, very nice. Some graphic 45. The image on the back cover pockets from a vintage book. So let's go back here and see. Oh yeah, that's an actual book from a book. Okay, so let's see what we got here. A little tag. This is just precious just precious oh my goodness okay you guys stock up now here's like a photo sleeve you know get this and also if you um want you know think about your friends who have birthdays there's like little photo sleeves here birthdays around christmas like you know in the fall time more photo sleeves this is a perfect december daily because giving christmas journals on Christmas Day, it's kind of, unless you're going to scrap book about Christmas after Christmas, which you can do that, um, it, it might be better to think about giving them as fall birthday gifts or an early Christmas present. You know, be like, hey, mom, I bought you this journal for Christmas. I'm going to give it to you at Thanksgiving. Um, you get your Christmas gift early because I want you to be able to write in it through the month of December. And keep track of oh look at that beautiful fabric of memories or um, maybe you have all those pictures that you took from Christmas for 2018 and you have not done anything with them yet so buy this book print out your pictures slip them in the pockets and um, there's a little mini envelope up there slip them in the pockets journal a little bit staple in some of your favorite uh, wrapping I'm not gonna pull that off wrapping paper and your memories, you know, put it on the shelf and your memories are safe. I love how you can just 
put so many photos in this thing. This is probably one of, if not my favorite December daily type journal that I have gotten my hands on as far as a big one. I love my little one that I used this year from Jessica over at I'm a Cool Mom, but that was a traveler's notebook size. As far as a big size, I, I think this has to be my favorite. So um, there's that one. All right, I am going to pause this video, take a break. You won't know it or won't, you know, it's not like I'm gonna come back in 20 minutes and you'll have to wait 20 minutes, but I'm gonna take a break and get a drink of water and, you know, do stuff that needs to be done. And I'll be back with more journals from Darlene. So I am back and I brought some gummy bears back with me that I have Blackberry Akai that I have been enjoying recently. Some nourishment, <laughs> not much nourishment in that, but anyway, let's see what this next package is again from Darlene. Oh my, look at that. Fabric cover, there's a key on the front, old vintage gentleman, really cute elastic closure. It's removable. I love that, oh my. <laughs> oh, makes me happy. So hardcover, fabric covered, it's more of a masculine feel, and she used it, used some images from that vintage Sears catalog in here as well. So, yay. Let's see. I love the feel of these pages. So, sometimes it's hard to find a little bit more masculine journals, and that's nice. I think that this would be incredible, like, I don't know, like journaling about you know, if you have, I have boys, you know, as they get older, you know, journaling about your boys or, you know, your family members, little booklet, your husband, adventures, um, you know, family memories. It would be a great gift for maybe a gentleman who, who really enjoys um, journaling but he doesn't want, you know, tons of roses and things like that. She did a really great job keeping this masculine too, <laughs> because sometimes it's hard when you set out and you start before you know it. Oh, okay, there's stuff in here. Before you know it, you're already back into all the flowers. Look at that little booklet. I know that's probably from that vintage, um, yep, catalog. This is a perfect paired journal for that ladies one, that first one that we looked at. You know, like a his and hers. Very, very nice. I wish you could see the smile on my face as I am flipping through this. I find it very um, relaxing, it makes me happy. Bingo card. Well, here we go. Wow, really nice collaged tag. Oh, there's something here on the side too. A postcard. I've been wanting to do some masculine journals. Um, Jessica from I'm a Cool Mom had sent me some faux leather. She had a bunch extra of. And I keep meaning to do masculine journals, and I have not gotten to them, but I will one of these days. I probably need to make some masculine digital kits to keep going super feminine, which is nice, but I just finished a kit today called Abandoned Beauty. And it is like old buildings, old industrial, and then really pretty, like, roses and florals and cream and blush and pink and I think it came out really well and that should be my next 
video up after this is just a, a flip through of those pages that I designed. Just a quick video. Kind of to make up for how long this one's going to be. I like this closure and if I could figure it out, which I'm sure I could, I would like to make some closures like that. All right, so these journals may be uh, repackaged when I ship them. I might not necessarily use the same um, paper and stuff. Okay, let's grab another one. So here is this one. Let's see what's in it. Yeah, I will probably just rewrap myself. Oh my gosh. <gasps> this is a vintage book cover. The Book of Wildflowers. Look at, oh my gosh, you guys. <gasps> oh my goodness. A vintage book from 1934 and she used the digital kit garden from Screech Owl Studio and dried herb envelopes from Victoria Designs. Would you look at this journal people? Oh my gosh. There might be something. No, I can't tell if there's something in there and I don't want to break anything. Oh, look, this is fabric on the inside and she's used some of the actual pages from the book. This is incredible. This is right up my alley because you guys know me and nature journals are my thing. Yes, I do other types of journals, obviously, but, oh my word, this is what I love. It's like, just makes me happy. Tempted to just buy this one. Mm. Mm. So if you do not see it in the Etsy shop, that will be why, because I would have purchased it myself. <laughs> oh my goodness. Gorgeousness is incredible. So pretty. And I love how she used book pages from the book. And she incorporated them so beautifully and so seamlessly into this that it feels like one coherent journal. Ugh. Tracing paper. Let's look at this tag. I want to see this tag. Look at that. Look at how pretty. Oh my goodness. Hmm. Definitely a writing journal. It's just like, I would want to put all of my favorite um, flower ephemera and stickers and washi. I would want to write things that, you know, made me happy. I hope that you guys want to do the same with it. I love these little flip outs. These would be wonderful for collaging onto the pages. And then in the back, there's some goodies too. So incredible. Honestly, I have to say, Darlene, this is probably my favorite journal that I have gotten in the marketplace. Not because it is the best or, you know, there's no best, but up my alley, I guess is what I am trying to say. Oh. And you've saved that book from probably certain destruction. You know, how long is that those going to be kept around? And yet you saved it and made it something that will last forever. Not forever, but you know what I'm saying. All right, so let us see what's in this one. Oh. Okay, so we have another Christmas one. So you don't have to fight over the last one. Oh my goodness. This looks like a boho Christmas. I mean, not really, but like, look at that. Look at that. Oh, guys, can you see that beading on the bottom? Look at that. Oh my goodness. Okay, and so then there's a tassel. Oh, you guys, I know you guys are gonna like die for this one. Oh my gosh, that is so cute. All right, let's see what it looks like inside. 
Aww. So cute. Okay, various paper pads, she said. Graphic 45 vintage book pages are from a 1940 Enchanted Stories book. So, yep, we've got some Graphic 45 um, journal cards here. So again, I'm not going to go through my whole pitch on why you should buy Christmas journals in January, but you should. And... You probably should buy a couple of them that because you don't know what mood you're going to be in. <laughs> this is this is not this is the hoarding part of me talking, not 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 reason and logic. But look at those little beaded angels and things and uh, reindeer. Um, this is the junk journal part of me speaking. But, you know, you don't know what kind of mood you're going to be in in 11 months. So or 10 months when you start using it. So you might just want to get a couple different ones and then you can choose which one you want you know buy for the next few years <gasps> uh lovely another um great idea is if you buy some of these you can put family pictures and things in a few of them like oh not um fill the whole book up but you know print 20 of your favorite family pictures out several times get several different Christmas journals throughout the year and then tuck them in different places and then give them as a gift to family members for Christmas that way. And it has like um, family photos and memories that gives them a springboard for um, journaling about family. So lovely, lovely. I know you guys are gonna go crazy over this one for sure. All right, let's see what else we have here. This one looks like it's a Halloween journal. Yeah, I'm gonna have to repackage most of this stuff. And I know, whoops. Here we go. Looks like there might have been, well, Maybe there was something on there. I don't you know. Anyway. Okay. So this one says October 31st spells. Really pretty closure. I know that Halloween is popular. There's little like dangles hanging off of that with little orange rhinestones. There's little spiders peeking out the side. Oh! don't like spiders okay so she used Seneca Pond digital kit something wicked which I love Seneca Pond I am not a Halloween girl I did not grow up that way we did not celebrate Halloween I do um something small my husband's family they didn't celebrate celebrate it but they would um have pizza and crumbled apples and things like that my boys like to dress up and play and stuff like that. They're little. Um, so I am just not a Halloween person. I usually try to make one or two Halloween journals. Um, this is a cool kit though. There's a nice pocket there. That's cool. I used to, I try to do a little bit of Halloween around Halloween, but this is a cool vibe though. I like this one. But me personally, like I wouldn't write in a Halloween themed journal, but I know a lot, there's little spider paper clips. I know that a lot of you, it's like your favorite holiday. And so this journal is beautiful. And I do like Edgar Allan Poe. So I tend to try to incorporate him into um, anything. I love his short stories. I like to do Poe themed Halloween stuff, so. Here's another pocket with journal card. A lot of room in here. And obviously you could really use this any time of year if you enjoy, you know, the goth creepy kind of stuff. Or just use it, you know, for Halloween memories or journaling in October. There's a big index card in the back. So super cute. I love it. I really do. For a Halloween journal, it is beautiful. It is beautiful. Alrighty. So 
So let's see, what is next? Oh my gosh, you guys. <laughs> okay, birds. You know me and birds. So it's a Reader's Digest repurposed book. It's got birds on it, a little hitch post fastener. Uh, 76 pages. She used a paper pad. Okay, I'll let you guys read about that when you get the book. This is just incredible. I love the size. You can tell when something is my style because I just ooh and all over the whole thing. Doesn't mean it's any greater than any of the other ones. It just means that it is my style. It took me a long time to find my style. If you're new to junk journaling, it's going to take you a while to find your style um, and your aesthetic and what you are drawn to. And that's fine. Just try out a bunch of different things till you find what makes you happy and what you keep going back to over and over again. Now, I don't just like I do think it is good to challenge yourself to work with new color schemes and new things. I'm not saying find your aesthetic and stick with it. I'm just saying that um, you will find what makes you happy when you're crafting and you'll find yourself going, um, there's a pocket page, you'll find yourself going back to that over and over again. Find, you know, find something that is you and then be happy with it and be okay with it. There's a little cute flip out bag with a little tag and then you could stuff something in there. So cute. You know, guys, know me in birds. I am dying to go back to the used bookstore. I don't really need more books, but I just got rid of, like, if you've seen, saw my video a few weeks ago, I just got rid of 40 pounds of books that I de-stashed here on my channel. And someone bought them and loved them. But, you know, you wind up collecting books and you use a few pages and then you just, mm, you know don't really want to use them anymore. So that is great, you know, to pass them on to somebody else who will use them or just recycle them and, um, you know, get some new titles. And I'm really wanting some new nature titles. The two types of books that I like to collect the most are nature and children's, vintage children's books. Though as far as making journals, it's mostly nature. So lovely. Oh, just so beautiful. Okay, we're not done or anywhere near done. <laughs> so here is another journal. We're just going to open it up like it's Christmas morning. Okay, so we have another Halloween journal. I'm pretty sure this is Amy Joy Studios because I'm pretty sure I bought this kit to make um, journals two years ago. Look at that. You guys are going to look at that little skull. Makes me think of, um, alas, what is it, Horatio? No. Yorick, poor Yorick. I knew him well. So this charm did kind of fall apart here, but I can put that back together with my with my jewelry um, jewelry making kit thing. So there's also a little boot that goes on it. <clears throat> there's three little spiders on the front. There's a little some little spiders peeking out. Super creepy. Alrighty, so she used the digital kit Ghost in the Attic from Screech Owl and from the Wood Digital Kit from Digital Magpie. Okay, I was thinking it was Amy, this was Amy Joy, but I, probably I am wrong and it's just something similar. Or she just used a couple pages from it and that wasn't beautiful, really pretty. For a creepy journal, this is pretty. Oh. My fingers, I'm going to have to take a break after this journal again. My fingers don't want to flip pages anymore. There's tags up there in the top. Lovely gothic ladies. I like the lace on the edges. Very nice. Little creepy journal cards. Yeah, my hands are like, no, I can't flip pages anymore. There are a lot of pages in this book, a lot. So when calculating pages, this will help all of you when you're sending them to me so that, you know, I don't have time to count pages. I just put down whatever you put down. And the, the best way to 
accurately describe the number of pages in a journal is take how many flat sheets you put in there and then I'll multiply it by four and that will be your page count because you're counting one page, two page, three page, four page, five page, six page, seven, eight, and so on. Just like you would with a normal book, like if you're reading a book, you count, you know, each, you know, it would be numbered, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, and so on like that. So just the number of flat sheets multiplied by four will give you the number of, um, I'm gonna see if I can fix this now before I lose it, but I don't know that I can. Let's see if I can get that back on there. No, nope, I'm gonna have to get my jewelry tools. Okay. I'm gonna just set that up there. Okay. So here's another one. <laughs> another like vintage gentleman. Look at that key. This is a fabric, really nice like canvasy texture. A key uh, ribbon. It is another masculine one. So yay. Which I think that there's a great need for these um, type of journals because we don't always want to go flowery. So, so nice. I love, I love this. That is cute. Little pocket on the front of the booklet. This kind of just makes me think of, oh, and a pocket on the back too. A little bit of Tim Holtz. I've been watching a lot of Tim Holtz the last couple days because he's been um, showing everything that he's going to be coming out with in uh, 2019 for his different brands and things like that. And I've been watching today and last night, I've been watching the stamp abilities um, and what stamps and, and stencils are coming out. I'm, I'm not really that thrilled with the stencils. I mean, they're kind of cool. I don't, I don't, you know, whatever. But there are some stamp sets coming out that are super neat, super cool. And um, some of them that really would go well in a journal like this. Um, one is called The Professor, one I think, I don't remember what it's called, maybe it's Dapper or I don't remember, but it has like hat and umbrella and a little clothes hanger and shirt neckties and all that kind of stuff like that. So they're always really expensive when they're released and I don't usually buy them unless they're on sale at like a Tuesday morning or something like that. And if it, that's a neat old gentleman. Um, but many of them are really neat. I like Tim Holtz's stuff. I'm not a fan of all of his stuff, but I do like a lot of his aesthetic. Really neat, really cute. So very nice. All right, so I'm gonna take another break. This video is almost an hour long and there's still uh, three journals left. So I'll be back in a little bit. So I'm back with the next journal from um, Darlene and getting ready to share it. Yeah, so I just made some pizza for my boys for lunch and just had to take a little break. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh dear. This is beautiful. Okay, so hanging from this spine, this looks like it's a tea theme journal. I see little teapots and tea things and then a pen. Wow. That's amazing. So pretty. There's metal book corners. So pretty. Okay, so this is. She used calico collage, calico collage kit. Very, very pretty. 
Mm. So lovely. Some tea. I saw, I've seen this kit from Calico Collage. I, I have not bought it, but I definitely, look at that beautiful bag. I definitely think that it is a beautiful kit and I'm so glad she used it so I could see it. Sometimes once we see a kit, then we're like, oh yeah, I want that. So pretty. A big envelope with some paper for journaling inside. I really love the simplicity of this journal. I feel like something that I'm I'm starting to want to go toward in tr trends is you have these plain, you don't have to put something on every page. You have like plain pages, something, something clipped, you know, plain pages so that you have plenty of room, but then you get to, um, it'll be like a cluster and you'll get several things in one place instead of totally spread out. It's just an aesthetic that I'm enjoying right now. Um, I'm wanting to incorporate it more into my journals. That is really pretty. It's a very peaceful journal. I find myself wanting to take deep breaths and have a cup of tea. Though I'll probably go make a cup of coffee when I'm done with this because I'm seriously addicted to coffee. When I was growing up, I would be like, I'm never going to drink coffee. I don't want to get addicted to it. All these adults going around saying they have to have their coffee. That's just ridiculous. And I, I seriously would go on about that. And I really didn't drink much coffee as an adult until um, I started doing junk journals. And then the smell of it, and then having extra coffee laying around, and then, of course, having kids and needing the extra energy. Yep. I am, I am, I am now coffee addicted and a little bit proud of it. So my dad always used to joke and he always used to say, if Lindsay says she's never going to do something, then just mark that date down and see how long it takes her to actually do it. <laughs> that wasn't a hundred percent true, but I used to be like, Oh, I'm never going to do that. And he's like, uh-huh. And then I wind up doing it. Love you, dad. <laughs> So I think this tea journal is incredible. Oh my goodness. You guys are going to give me serious complexes about my own um, ability to make journals. It's like, you think you make great journals until you see someone else's work and then you're like, oh my, I have so much to learn. Oh, look at how beautiful. Look at those colors and the layering and the simplicity. Yes, yes, yes. Look at how little hitch post fastener okay she used an Artie Mage Artie Mays nature walk digital kit another one that I have not worked with however I've watched many videos of other people using it and am in love with it so oh, look at a little piece of vellum one thing about digital kits is there's so many good ones in so little time especially when I'm running an Etsy shop and I try to do not just, you know, I'm not just making and selling journals. I have the marketplace. I have my junk journal project with me every month. I have, you know, so many things. I, I try to, you know, keep my shop full of listings and I try to find vintage items. And, and I, liked, I like it that way. I like always doing something different. But there's just so many beautiful paper pads Look at that. Look at how pretty that is. Beautiful kits. And I just, you know, wish I had time to work with all of them. I do have a video coming up uh, this weekend, maybe next week, on um, a sponsored video from a digital paper shop online and some of her, her nature or floral prints. <laughs> I used to find time to use so many different kits and now I, if I make a journal, I am most of the time trying to use up, oh, look at this vellum page, use up scraps because I have so many. I might need to get some uh, Happy Mail packages together. I've done that before 
where I've sent people like a stuffed envelope full of scraps because I've cleaned my craft room. My favorite thing about this journal is the vellum. I keep seeing little bits of vellum like this. And to me, it just adds so much. I really don't use it in my journals, but I'm, I'm wishing I did because just look at that. So pretty. Love, I just love that so much. Darlene, your, your color schemes. I mean, yes, I know you're working with a kit, but the way you just make a journal so coherent is very, very inspirational to me. I think that's a pocket. Yep. It just really, I like all these envelopes are um, Velcro closed. So you could put little things in there and not worry about them falling out. Look at how beautiful. I think that's a greeting card. Yeah, that is just that is just beautiful. And then more vellum. These might be Tim Holtz. Not sure. So pretty. I love this one. Truly beautiful. Okay. There's one left and then that will end this video for today but I know more of you have journals that are um, on their way to me and if you have not contacted me about sending journals and you would like to please message me on Facebook or Etsy I would love to see examples of your work and I would love to be able to help you sell your work this is just been so much fun for so many of us very pretty very pretty All right, she used a paper pad from Recollect Recollections. That was her main uh, theme, or look at that cute little girl. Theme or inspiration, I guess I should say. Pretty die cut. Ugh. Pretty layered. Look at that, just gorgeous. So pretty. There's something in there, yes. I love the tracing paper. It makes a wonderful sound. It feels neat. And um, I have written on it. Uh, Cheryl had made me a journal a while ago that I still use to write to-do lists and things like that in and she has some tracing paper in it and I've written like menus and to-do lists on it. It's great. I love it. Really pretty. Let's see if we can see what's in here, but this is, it looks like maybe it's a wallpaper. Oh, look at that, you guys. So pretty. Little envelope. I don't remember which way she had it. That's the problem with taking things apart when it's not your journal. All right, looks like, oh, these are cute. Little paper bag and decoupaged tags. Very nice. Um, if you guys could let me know in the comments below who your favorite, um, youtubers are that do junk journal flip throughs one of my favorite was paula lemon and i'm hoping that she gets back to doing flip throughs but i haven't i can't get that out <laughs> my fingers are too slippery um she hasn't done any in a few months and i like to watch uh yvonne preston sometimes but um yeah who's your favorites because i'm kind of at a loss for favorites right now. Just a good old fashioned flip through. Well, that's, oh, that's glued in there. That's really pretty. And sometimes I think that YouTube doesn't show me the ones that are available. And so like what I did this morning is I went to search junk journal for the past, junk journal videos from the past week. And that's how I found my life mitts. 
Um, and I don't know how often she posts. I don't know much about her at all, but I just enjoyed her little junk journal with me video that she posted this week. And oh, that's pretty. So, um, yeah, let me know your favorites so I can follow them. Okay, so that was the last one. So I hope that you bye, 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 enjoy, enjoy, enjoy. Um, and always remember, please, when you're going to the marketplace to find these journals, look at the journals that were left over from the last videos and maybe snag one of those as well. Because remember, if you buy three, you get free shipping in my shop. So um, my suggestion is you buy a new junk journal, you buy an older junk journal, and then you buy like a filler. What I mean by that is my shipping is $2.99 flat rate for the United States, not for overseas, but for the United States. And um, so you can buy something like a digital kit or a used book or something like that for a couple bucks. And it pretty much winds up being free because you got free shipping. My price rates on shipping will probably have to go up here next month because the United States Postal Service is raising their rates by a lot. So not fun. I'm going to have to look into that. I have not decided yet, but I'm probably going to have to raise it just a little bit. I try not to uh, have shipping be too expensive, and I even cover uh, some of the extra out of my own pocket sometimes. But um, I really, really hope that I won't have to hike it too much for you guys. All right. Thank you for watching. See you in the next video.